Hi, um, I am uh, Melanie Barasa. I am a personal trainer uh, here in San Diego. And um, I've been teaching movement for about 20 years and I've been a full-time personal trainer for about 10 years. And my, uh, <laughs> my um, main demographic I work with is people in their 50s, 60s, and 70s. Uh, so the workout that I prepared for you today is actually a workout that I had one of my 70 year old clients do last week online like on a zoom training and it not only kicked his butt, but it also kicked my butt. So then I was like, oh, this is perfect. <laughs> so it's going to be about 20 to 30 minutes. It's a dumbbell workout. So you're going to grab a pair of dumbbells that's about a medium weight for you. So for me about that's about 10 pounds. Um, how you tell that? You're just basically gonna lift it over your head and think, okay, can I do 10 of those? And if the answer is like, maybe, <laughs> it's probably a good weight for you. If you're like, no, nah, I can do like 150 of them, like get a grab a heavier weight. If you don't have more um, heavier dumbbells, you can grab whatever sort of weighted item you have. Did a lot of fun using um, uh, water bottles. You're also gonna wanna grab a mat so like a yoga mat or a towel or something just like when you're on your hands and knees uh, that'll feel protected um, so the workout today uh, I said is a 20 to 30 minutes it's a circuit so we're gonna start off with a warm-up and then we're going to do um, like an interval style where we're gonna do a plyometric for about 30 seconds and then a full body movement and then another plyometric full body uh, total of eight exercises and then we'll do them again so you ready <laughs> I'm ready <laughs> it's like 6 30 in the morning here definitely ready if you hear loud noises it's because I live near the airport so just ignore them uh, grab some water let's get started okay so we're gonna start with some arm swings. So you're just gonna bring your arms forward in front of you when they get up here, flex your hands back, and then just do a big circle. So up, flex, and back. And it's a really nice way to start off the morning. <laughs> oh, this feels so good. You always wanna warm up before you before you work out, especially in the morning, especially if it's early, you definitely don't want to be going straight out of bed to like jumping around. Bad idea. All right, let's do the opposite direction. Ah, waking up those arms. So happy. <laughs> All right. It's funny because as a personal trainer, you usually get a lot of feedback. <laughs> looking at people and seeing their expressions, but all I see is myself. So I would imagine you're all smiling out there, <laughs> excited to be moving your arms around. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is leg swings. So it's nice to like, just put your hand on something to hold on, and you're just gonna swing your leg forward and back. Okay, I'll stand here so it's more centered. Just as far as you can, forward and back, and you can hold on to something for stability. Again, you're warming up your legs, getting the hip flexors warmed up, getting your hamstrings warmed up. Uh, <laughs> definitely gonna hold on now, on here. <laughs> Swinging that leg. <laughs> All right. Cool, we'll do one more. And then let's do the other side. So again, you hold on, swing your leg forward and back, wake it up. So you can see I'm filming here in my garden. I live in a tiny house in San Diego. So it's 6.30 in the morning here. So I can't film in my house because my husband is sleeping. <laughs> so we're right here in the garden. You can see what I've got growing. It's about two months worth of growth here. Very proud of it. Quarantine projects. Okay, so now you're gonna go wide legs. Bring your arms out wide. We're gonna do some windmills. You can actually bend your knees a little bit and stick your butt back for these. So you'll just windmill, hand down toward the floor, doesn't have to touch it, and then opposite arm. And you just go just like this. One side, then the other. 
Maybe you're gonna feel your hamstrings talking to you. If they're tight, which they tend to be in the morning when you just wake up. Make sure you're breathing. A good rule of thumb with exercise is ex exhale on the exertion. So the hardest part of the movement is when you breathe out. Let's do a couple more. And last round. All right, so let's do some squats now. We're gonna do some body weight squats. You're gonna stand with your feet about hip distance apart. You're gonna sit back, reach your arms forward, and then stand up again. Hips back, stand up again. I'm gonna go sideways so you see this. Always when you're doing a squat, you're gonna move your hips back before you bend your knees. So butt back, then knees, reach forward, pull it back. Let's do about 10 of these. Again, still doing the warm up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, let's do some step back lunges. All right, so what you're gonna do you're gonna lean forward onto one foot, step one foot back, dip. You push off the back foot, kind of launching yourself forward, then opposite leg. Lean forward, step back, dip, launch yourself forward. I'll get up, go sideways so you can see. Lean forward, step back, dip, launch yourself forward. Get your stabilization before you do the, like, the dipping. So if you step back and you're all like wobbly, pause to be like, okay, no, I got this. Couple more. All right, and then just last uh, warm up exercise, some side lunges. Big step out to the side, bend your knee. You're gonna reach into the inside of your leg, step back, now take that arm and reach it out to the side. Big stretch. Step to the side, bend your knee, reach to the inside of the leg, step back, big stretch. Do a few of these. And then other side. Step to the side, bend your knee, reach it, and then together, arm out. So just do a bunch of those. We did eight on the first side, we'll do eight on this side. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Awesome, all right, let's start the first circuit. If you need to grab a drink of water, please do so. Okay, so the first exercise is just jumping jacks. You know jumping jacks. You had to do them in PE class when you were a kid. So, just regular old jumping jacks. We're gonna start in three, two, one. Let's go. Now again, if jumping is too much for you, you can do some modified version. You can do like this and this. Just get your whole body moving. But this like nice pounding action. I didn't say pounding. It's like such a negative word. But it's actually really good for your joints. You want to stimulate that bone growth. For five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Grab your pair of dumbbells. Again, I'm using tens. You can use whatever you consider a medium weight for yourself. This first exercise is a deadlift with a row. So you're gonna stand with your feet hip distance apart, okay? Bring your arms down in front of you. Chest nice and high, belly in. You're gonna bend your knees a little bit, but remember when we, when we do any sort of squat or even deadlift, hips go back first. So you're gonna, butt's gonna go back, you're gonna lean forward, okay? You're not gonna collapse chest is forward. When you're down here, pull your elbows up to the side. That's the row. Release them again. Back up to standing. We got 10 of those. Lean forward. Pull. Straighten. Stand. Lean forward. Pull. Straighten. Stand. So if you're doing this and you're like, oh, I'm feeling a lot of pressure in my low back, bend your knees some more. Really get your butt back out there behind you. 
And then if it's too much to do it with dumbbells, you can just do this with your arms, getting the movement down. We'll say that's six. <laughs> Fun joke in the, or stereotype in the wor training world is that trainers can't count. It's accurate. We'll say that's nine. <laughs> and 10. Okay, put your dumbbells down. We're gonna go into your next plyometric activity. All right, so these are speed skaters. So what you could do is you can just hop to the side, hop to the other side. That would be like the beginner version. If you wanna get really big, you take big hops, bring your knee up. All right, the more advanced version, you're gonna reach your arm down to the ground. So you would hop, cross your leg, and tap, okay? We got 30 seconds of those. Ready, set, go. So either of those, you're hopping side to side, working on landing on one foot, getting your heart rate up. If you're not sure what your heart rate should be, you're gonna think about, you're gonna take the number 220 and minus your age, that's gonna be your maximum heart rate. And then you want to take about 75 to 90 percent of that. That's your threshold. That's the um, zone that you want to be in right now. Okay, go ahead and stop. Okay, next up, grab your dumbbells. Squat, curl, press. So a little different. So the deadlift that we did before was more of a lean forward, right? The squat, you're going to keep your chest uh, pointing straight in front of you. So, feet hip distance apart, butt back, sit into the squat. When you come up, you're gonna flip, I'll turn this way. Palms up to your, to your shoulders, just the bicep curl, and then palms in, arms to the sky. Bring them back down to your shoulders, then hammer curl it down. Nine more of those, or 10, depending on where you, if you already started. <laughs> All right, squat, chest forward, stand, bicep curl, shoulder press, that's two. Go this way. Squat, stand, bicep curl, shoulder press. Keep going. I love these like full body exercises because you're strengthening the whole body. Every muscle is getting involved. So great for, you know, just bang for your buck, burning more calories in a shorter amount of time. And you may say, Melanie, I've heard that low intensity exercise burns more fat. And yes, that can, that can be true while you're doing the exercise. So let's say you go on a five hour long hike. Yes, during those five hours, you're burning all sorts of fat, that's awesome. But when you're done with the, the hike, it's, you know, it's pretty much over. But these high intensity exercises, after you're done working out, so after these 20, 30 minutes, you continue to have a higher level of metabolism for the rest of the day. And that's awesome. Let's say one more. All right, good. Go ahead and put your dumbbells down. Next plyometric, high knees. So on this one, you're gonna have your elbows by your sides, palms up, and then just bring your knees up to touch your hands. If they don't go that high, lower your hands down. But we're continuing to move. All right, we got 30 seconds here. Three, two, one, let's go. High knees. Remember, when you're working out, you gotta listen to your body. I can't see you. I can't see your limitations. You know what's going on. So you can adjust, make it easier, harder, any modifications that you need. One of the great things about working with a personal trainer is that they can see all of the things that you need to work on and you know make adjustments in the, in the moment. All right, three, two, and one. Okay, next up. Grab your dumbbells again. We're gonna go wide legs. So wide legs, toes out. 
okay? New sumo squat. So hips are gonna move back, then the knees. Knees out to the side here. Really good work for your adductors, your inner thigh muscles. When you stand up, you're gonna lift your chest high, roll your shoulders back, and then do an upright row, okay? So it's squat, stand, chest up, roll the shoulders back, and go. So you can get, you can get started on these. I want you to really pay attention to what your shoulders are doing. Because you do really don't want to make this a strong, you don't want to be like this, right? You want to roll them back and squeeze your upper back. This is how we can work those great posture muscles. So you stand up and sit straight. Especially in these times that we don't really have an access, don't have access to a gym. We've got to figure out how to be creative in working those pulling muscles. Let's do three more. Three, two, and one. Good. Put the um, dumbbells down. All right, last set of exercises in this circuit. We're gonna do the circuit twice, just so you know. All right, we're gonna do butt kickers now. So you're basically running in place, kicking your heels up to your butt, just like this. All right. So ready, set, go. So just running around. What's funny about running in place is like sometimes you actually start moving and going somewhere. <laughs> You're like, nope, backtrack. Gotta get back to where I was standing before. You're about halfway there. Take your dumbbells, put them on either side of your mat, so outside the mat, okay? You're gonna get into a plank, okay? We're gonna do a mountain climber. So nice and steady, bring one knee into your chest, then back, then the other knee, then back. Then grab one of your dumbbells, pull your elbow up to your side, and do a tricep kickback. Put the dumbbell down, switch. Grab it, tricep kickback, put the dumbbell down. All right, if you're feeling fancy and you want to add in a push-up, go for it. Then we keep going. Mountain climber, one knee, then the other knee. Tricep, tricep. You can do this, guys. If you need to take a break, Go for it. If you just want to do the mountain climbers, do that. If you just want to do the triceps, do that. If you want to do all three with the push-up, you go for it. This is your body. This is your workout. Keep going. It's a long plank here. But remember, I had a 70-year-old man do this the other day. Of course, it wasn't his first workout ever. We've been working together for a really long time. But still. You can do it. If you want to take the break in the middle, go for it. Oh. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Still over here? You're like, no, Melly. I turned off this workout. This is too hard. Keep going. We'll do three more. Three more? Or two more, actually. Last one. Woo wee! All right, end of the first circuit. We're gonna do that again, okay? 
So grab a drink of water, catch your breath, let your heart rate come down, and we'll do it again in just a minute or two. Side, side, side. Drink lots of water. Ah. All right, so I'm just gonna move my yoga mat out of the way. Set up my garden for more dumbbell action. If you guys are out there breathing hard, oh, it's nice to get the exercise done nice and early. All right, one more set. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go again, starting with jumping jacks. If you need a longer break, please take it. Take it. Otherwise, we're going to start together in three, two, one. Jumping jacks. 30 seconds. <sighs> Getting that full body moving. <sighs> There's something fun about doing jumping jacks that makes me feel like I'm five years old. I don't know about you. Also, skipping. <laughs> it's like, takes you back to being like a, a joyful child, skipping through a field. Three, two, and one. What are you doing? Grab your uh, dumbbells. We're going into deadlift into a row. <sighs> Stand with your feet hip distance apart. Hips move back. Bend your knees. Remember, we don't hunch down. Chest is forward. Pull your elbows back. Strain your arms, stand up again. We have 10 of those. This is another really great one for the back side of your body. We tend to work the front side of our body a lot. Um, chest press, bench press, that kind of thing. Um, cycling, working our quads, crunches, working the abs. And then sometimes we forget about the back side of the body. Maybe because you can't see it. <laughs> but it's really strong, or it's really important to have a strong posterior chain. So everything from your ankle, or your, uh, excuse me, your calves, all the way up into your upper back, gets that nice posture, helps you from having imbalances that plague you for the rest of your life. Also having a nice strong glutes and low back, help prevent low back pain, which is awesome. Especially if you find that you've been sitting a little bit more lately, because there's nowhere to go. Let's do one more. Good, put your dumbbells down. All right, speed skaters. So remember, we're hopping side to side. You can do any of the versions. Ready, set, go. So you're either doing this, just nice little hops. You're bringing your knee way up or cross behind and tap, cross behind and tap. And so as much as we want to stimulate bone growth, we also don't want to injure our knees. So beware, do you feel knee pain? Maybe you don't want to do as much bouncing. If you're like, no, I'm good. Keep going. Three, whoops, two, <laughs> and one. Grab your dumbbells. Okay, squat curl press we got. Whew. Feet hip distance apart. Squat, remember chest stays forward. Stand, pull up the palms, bicep curl, palms in, shoulder press. And keep going. So the angle of where your arm, what your arms are doing only matters a little bit. So if you start feeling pain in the shoulders, pain in the elbows, you can experiment with the angle of your hands. So what I mean is you could try doing a hammer curl where your palms face each other. You could try palms out, more of a military press. Just experiment finding ways that you can do the exercise that doesn't hurt your body. Maybe you have an issue with your shoulder. Perhaps you're just not gonna use a dumbbell on that arm. 
or you just stop at the curl and maybe then the, uh, the other arm does the, the shoulder press. Just listen to your body and respond accordingly. Let's do two more. All right, I'm gonna put your dumbbells down. Next is high knees. So, hands out in front, elbows in. Pop your knees up, 30 seconds. Let's go. We're working your hip flexors here. Bring your heart rate up again. Maybe it hasn't gone down. <laughs> Yeah, it's been up this whole time. <sighs> yeah, so 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Grab your dumbbells. All right, sumo squat into an upright row. Legs wide toes out. Arms out in front, okay? Hips move back, belly stays tight, chest forward. Squat, stand, roll the shoulders back, and then back down. I forgot to say this on the first step, but you can actually add in a movement here, if you're so inclined, which is after you come up here, you can flip them up like that, getting a little bit more external rotation. If you want to try it, go for it. If you wanted to keep doing what you were doing, do that. Remember, shoulder blades squeeze together. Actually, I'll just go back to the first version. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Your rhomboids are back there. Your posterior deltoids are back there. Woo. So you're pulling muscles. Let's do three more. One, two, and three. All right, put your weights down. All right, last set. Doing butt kickers. Remember this, it's like you're running in place, but getting the heels way up. Really activating those hamstrings on this one. All right, ready, set, set. Take those heels back. But if you're ever working out, maybe you're doing something like this, and you start to cramp up, like maybe your calves are cramping, or your hamstrings are cramping, just stop the exercise and either stretch it out or grab a foam roller. A lot of us have foam rollers laying around the house. We don't even know what to do with them. You're gonna put the, whatever painful part of the muscle is, Put pressure, like lay it on top of the foam roller, roll it around until you feel what I could describe as the muscles start to talk to you, and then hold it there for upward, upward of a minute. Don't forget to breathe. All right, three, two, and one. All right, we got the one with the plank, the mountain climber, tricep kickback, optional push up. So grab your yoga mat or towel, or whatever you're using. I'm gonna do a sideways variation this time. So if you, or not variation, just if it's easier to see. Okay. So I think you can see that. We're gonna put your dumbbells to the outside of your mat. Your hands are on the inside. Okay, you're in your plank. You be careful not to put my feet in the tomatoes. <laughs> All right, mountain climber. Goosey. That's where injuries happen. 
So if you need to take a rest, do it. If you want to do this on your knees, you can do it too. Okay, that's five. this which is a regular plank I know we just did a bunch of planks it's okay you'll, you'll survive so you can move your dumbbells out of the way we're gonna do a forearm plank so and we're gonna do it for a minute you're gonna get your four your elbows down okay so they're right underneath the shoulders Bring your legs back, all right? Go ahead and get set up. We'll start in five seconds. Continue to breathe. We're gonna time for one minute. All right, ready, set, and go. So when you get into your plank, what you're gonna do is push down with your elbows. So you actually feel like your upper back rounds a tiny bit. Now pull your collarbone forward as you simultaneously push those elbows down. So it's like your chest is trying to explode out of the of pose. Now hug your abs in nice and tight so you're not dropping the belly. That's gonna help protect your low back from slumping. If you do planks and you notice you have like low back pain, lift your butt up a little bit higher. Your butt should be roughly in line with your shoulders. Okay, keep breathing. Now activate your legs. Lift your quad or, or contract your quads by lifting your knees and push your heels back. Think about like your, your legs make up about half of your body, make them do half of the work. Keep breathing, we got seven seconds left. For three, two, and one. Ah, drink your water. I don't know about you, but I worked up a sweat. Really great way to start the morning. And I'm Melanie Barassa. Um, this is a full body dumbbell, um, high intensity interval workout. Um, you can find me on all social media as Movement by Melanie, Movement by Melanie. Um, I even have a YouTube channel. Uh, I got some videos up there. If you wanna Jake, do like some mini workouts, got those. Um, if you have any questions about personal training, anything like that, go ahead and uh, you can DM me. I got a number of uh, different personal training programs that you can do online right now. So I'd be happy to talk to you about that. All right, drink a lot of water. Have a wonderful day. Stretch, foam roll, recover, and enjoy this beautiful day.